Hi everyone, I wanted to share something that I am really, really excited about. Um, Shelley Rhodes is an artist from the UK and I heard about her book, so I had Annette figure out how to get it for us. And I just loved all these little pieces in here that she does and she calls them, it's fragmentation. It's just little pieces and little studies. And she started doing them um, during COVID. And I was really taken with the daily practice. So this is what I was looking at, and I want to show you what I'm doing. Okay, this is the piece that I have started on, and I've been working about two weeks on this. And I try to do some every day, even if it's like five minutes. But I've gotten somewhat addicted. I've done up to an hour or two. <laughs> And how I started was I took a piece of flannel and cut it five inches wide, plus the width of the fabric. And then I'm just laying scraps on at, with raw edges. So these kind of little pieces, like I like to do detail piecing, so I save those kinds of things. Um, and so here is a layout for more because I am really into this now. And I started out with just the kind of blue and white with a little bit of gold. And then the green crept, kept in, crept in. And now I've got a little bit of turquoise and magenta and who knows what else might come along. Um, and the other thing I wanted to try doing um, is using the 12 weight thread from uh, Sulky. And I've used it for machine quilting uh, when I want a really thick thread, but I'm loving this for hand stitching. And then I had never tried this shishiko thread. So I'm using that thread also. So those are just a couple new things. And then there are some other books that are all done um, by women in the UK, uh, Resilient Stitch. Um, it, this has lots of fun things in it too. A lot of mending and borrow stitching. Um, so that's kind of fun. And then this embroidery, embroidering for ev the everyday is by Cass Holmes. And we've had Cass Holmes books, lots of them. And she's one of our favorite um, artists. And we actually are on her list to come and teach for us someday. So as soon as she can get out of the UK and come and teach, she's going to come. And then this is another one by Helen Parrott, and it's called Mark Making Through the Seasons. And it's just lots of stitching, um, stitching in all different ways. And I find that um, as a quilter, I'm real, interested in texture and I've always loved to hand stitch since I was a little girl so adding stitching in with my uh, art quilts that I make just seems to be working for me so I'm having a lot of fun with this and um, maybe you will want to start a daily practice.